Good morning, Celsians. Another update. Uh, hope you had a great weekend. Um, as we talked about last week, we've seen uh, the Fed uh, continuing to focus on inflation. Nothing has changed. I think they reiterated uh, the same message that uh, uh, we talked about last week, that they're going to, until they see a reduction in inflation, they're not going to change their minds. The good news is, again, the dollar is finally weakening. The, the dollar is slowly coming down its high, which is a good sign. Also, uh, I think, again, we've seen eight weeks in a row of down candles on uh, Bitcoin, which I think is overdone. So we should see a nice rebound here. Um, uh, at least two or three weeks of rebound with green candles uh, going up. So if you can't take the pain, uh, again, I think uh, you'll have some relief this week. So let, no, normally we talk about Bitcoin, but I think ETH deserves uh, its own uh, minute in the sun. Uh, and uh, this ETH merge that is expected in August is a very uh, big uh, leap forward, right? It's It will finally allow uh, Ethereum to scale, uh, accelerate, run much faster, do many, many more things. And, uh, you know, obviously a lot of developers, a lot of customers are waiting for that. So um, that is a big milestone that will basically allow a lot of projects that are still a constraint or NFTs that are constrained to really blossom in uh, this new network. Um, you know, again, migrating from proof of work to proof of stake. So that's 99% reduction in the consumption of energy for Ethereum. And going forward, so all those things are positive and very important for the Ethereum ecosystem. And over the weekend, we had uh, Pizza Day. So for those of you who don't know, uh, we always measure that we had a guy who bought two pizza with 10,000 Bitcoin. That's about uh, $300 million worth of uh, money today. And that's kind of like the ultimate example when we talk about don't use your Bitcoin to buy things. I know there's a lot of people out there who want you to spend your Bitcoin, right? But uh, just remember pizza, uh, the pizza guy and the pizza day, uh, because no one that I know is happy with anything they ever bought with Bitcoin, right? They rather get their Bitcoin and refund the pizza or the coffee or the shoes or whatever they bought, right? So you need a loan against it, great. Come, we'll give you a loan against it. Uh, but uh, definitely paying with Bitcoin is the worst thing you can do. So, uh, you know, the third element uh, of why Bitcoin should improve is that we've seen, I think, the bottom on the fear greed index. So the fear went down to eight and I think we're now back to 11 uh, or something like that and, it, and climbing. So again, all the indicators are showing you that we've hit bottom. Uh, you can see the stock market also is turning around. So it doesn't mean we're, uh, we're going up from here forever. It just... Uh, tells you that we take, we, we've taken too much pain and we're going to see a reset. So, um, you know, again, if you're a long-term hodler, it doesn't matter. But if you uh, want to unwind some of the position that you took, for example, you, you're on leverage or you, or you want to sell some just so you can sleep at night, you might have an opportunity here in the next few weeks uh, at higher prices. So, so, again, not investment advice, just uh, telling you what my feelings are about where things are, uh, but there's obviously a lot of fear still around uh, both kind of high tech and crypto, uh, which some is justified, but some is definitely overdone. So, and again, as, as a reminder, the, for those of you afraid that everybody's heading to the exit, uh, last week again, we were at West Palm Beach at uh, Permissionless. It was a mob scene, right? Uh, I, you know, I gave a presentation there, or it was a panel with Chainlink, and uh, it was standing room only, right? I mean, the conference had uh, seven or 8,000 people attending. And this is DeFi only, right? These are like uh, purists. So, you know, if you look at the Bitcoin conference or this conference or anything else, the excitement, the amount of venture capital being invested in the space, the amount of people leaving large companies and coming into crypto uh, has never been greater. And that's really where I measure are we going up or are we going down, right? Because the, the more people are joining the community, the, the more we're building and innovating, uh, the farther we're gonna get. Now, there's always, these are experiments, 
right, that uh, did not work out. And now we learn from it. We're going to build better. And uh, there's always uh, some of these. I remember in the dot-com boom and, and in, in, in 2005 and six and so on, uh, we went to kind of the same thing. So, so this is not different. This is the same cycle. Uh, what's important is are we creating uh, something that people need that they can use and uh, are we going to migrate TradFi into these new innovations? The answer for that is categorically yes.